What's up, guys, and welcome to Just Another Monday Night, where we are going to discuss my trip. It was a pretty incredible trip, if I uh, am being honest. And uh, tonight, oops, hang on a minute. Got to mute that thing. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've been uh, been sitting in this room talking to you guys, and I, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Um, I like being at Disney. Maybe one day in the future soon. We'll see. But uh, want to welcome, uh, or first off, thank off Dean at The Life Place. Dean at uh, www.thelifeplace.com. Dreamers Empire and The Life Place on YouTube. Make sure you go check him out. He hosts our show as well as of, about, uh, I think he was up to 110 last time I saw. So make sure you go check out Dean. My partner channels, uh, Mouse Talk, who goes live on Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. Live with me Saturdays um, on, at, uh, at, set, or at 8 o'clock with Sports Night. And then Rob Fuzz goes live at 4 o'clock on Fridays with either Freaky Friday or Pup Talk. Make sure you go check them out. And, of course, my brothers. Got to spend some uh, time with them. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, the Shep family goes live on uh, Saturdays at 7.30. I'm sorry, 9.30. Zip goes live on Tuesdays tomorrow at 6.30. And then uh, Brandy and Dave do whatever they want to. So, And we go dis with live with this and that on Wednesdays at 9 o'clock. So we have, I cannot believe the number of people that were waiting before I hit start. I think it's like a record for me. Thank you guys so much. It means the, the world to me. And we got three thumbs downs already before the stream even started. So that's how you know things are going right. Welcome in Mike Wheeler, Downscale, Make It Blue, A Disney Adventure, Disney Noah's Adventures, Piglet Roo Loves Disney, Samantha Lowe, James Ryan, Donna Jaworski, Gary B, The Do Philly Crew, Michelle the Quilter, Captain Nacron 2017, Tina McNeil, DCS. Mickey Fan 71, aka Lisa, Nick Gates, It's Joey's World, Jersey Mike, Bill Stefan, Happy Hopper, Jenny Fay UK, Magical News Live. Congratulations to Nick over at Magical News Live for hitting 5,000 subs. Congratulations, buddy. Such a good guy. Uh, I got to hang out with Nick a little bit too, but buddy, congratulations. 5,000 subs. You so deserve it. Uh, absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Everybody put hearts in the chat for uh, Nick, uh, and that's going to make it really hard on me when I go get caught up. Um, Timothy Rainwaters, Mike 88, NYC, Avery the Cuban American, Karen Cook, AJCE Magic TV, Leanne Sherbick, Downscale, $5 Super Chat says, Steve, it was an incredible trip. You are being honest. Thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate that. Um, and it, there it goes. We have LSU Mom, Saria Myers, Kay Atwood. Wow, you guys are going fast. Paula Rainwaters, Theme Amazing, uh, Sandy Pandy. Oh, Sandy Pandy, Mickey Moo. <laughs> no, man. Sandy Pandy, Mickey Me Sue. I think I said that right. Uh, Via Pre Project, welcome in, guys. And uh, guys, I, I was supposed to meet up with Via Pre Project this weekend. Didn't get a chance to. We're going to set up something for next trip. But they go live tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Is that right? Eight? Nine o'clock. They go live tomorrow at nine o'clock. Make sure you go check out the Via Pre Project. Lady Jammers, welcome in. Marguerite Nagy, uh, Nathan Rada, Timothy Rainwaters. Corey's mom. Corey's mom's awesome. We'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for being here. I really do appreciate it. We have Andrea Houston. Welcome in. Uh, what's up, Nathan, buddy? Mary Kehoe. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Marshmallow Man. What's up, buddy? Um, still getting caught up, guys. Rockin' Robin. Lady Jamers. I hope I got everybody. If I missed you, please repost in the bottom, and we will get to you. Um, Make sure real quick, I just didn't miss anybody here at the bottom. I think I, Donna McCoy, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. All right, guys, first off, and uh, and my welcome, my I think it's and why welcome in, my uh, I think I got everybody. If I missed you guys, Annie Coog 86 did not get everybody. Apparently, there's still more I didn't get to, but if I missed you guys, please just repost Corner Sports. Uh, Tommy, what's up, buddy? Uh, wow, there's a lot of you people here. I love you guys, you guys are amazing. Uh, Nick, Magical News Live, five dollars super chat. Oh, it just disappeared. Go over here and hit it. Thank you, everyone. You rock, Steve. So great to see you when you're here. Buddy, it's always a pleasure to see you. You are wise beyond your years. You know I've said that before. You, uh, you're you crushing it, buddy. Crushing it, and it's it's just amazing. What's up, Nathan? <clears throat> All right, guys. I think – I don't know. I, I think I'm caught up. Disney Nerd Herders, welcome in. Thank you. Anita Yi, welcome in. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Pete McDevitt, welcome in. Um. I'm not going to scroll up anymore. If I miss you, repost. I'm going to move this over so I can see it a lot better. There we go. All right, guys. So we had an amazing trip. Absolutely amazing trip. Um, could not be happier. I, I wish. We, I mean, I wish it was longer. I wish we could have done more things. But I'm going to talk about my trip up to the Disney portion of my trip. After that, flew 
Um, I hang out with Corey a lot, and we we flew to Pennsylvania for Zombie Camp 2.0. You'll find out about all that on Wednesday. We're not going to talk about that today. Latoya Hansen, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but guys, so I'm going to give you the brief rundown of the trip. I'm going to show you all this stuff that I got, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll talk about the trip a little bit more in depth. Kadani, Sean, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Jill Dufour, I made it back home safely. Yes, Christine Nickman, and I had to beat the uh, hurricane on that too. So kept my trip short a little bit, but, you know, that's the second trip now that we've been cut short for a hurricane. It's like uh, Florida's not ready for us at all. Andy J, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. All right. First off, brief discussion of, of uh, what I got here. Nick Gates, what's up, buddy? Uh, Hannah Anderson, welcome in. So in the sea of blue, it's hard to be seen. Oh, we definitely see you. Uh, so definitely worth the trip down. Absolutely. And I'll talk about the safety, all that stuff, guys. Katie Howe, welcome in. Magic of the Mouse TV, Bill, welcome in. Has Valerie and Steve made it back from zombie camp yet? He is here. He has arrived. Making Movies with Alex Brunner, welcome in. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Uh, you guys are the hurricane. That's right, New Philly crew. We are the hurricane. We cause it. How, how did the boys trip called zombie camp? I thought it would be the singing fellas trip. No, not the singing fellas trip. Although we did start doing some TikToks. So follow uh, Beyond the Zip 1212 if you want to see those things. Zippity doodad. There he is right there. Zip, throw your link to your uh, your TikTok channel down in the chat thingy so people can go watch us do TikToks. Wendy B, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. You guys are amazing. We already have 100 people watching. We just started. You guys are awesome. So first off, though, I got there on uh, Thursday. Um, wound up checking into my hotel. Which I stayed at, uh, which now I can tell everybody where I stayed because I move around, so it doesn't matter. Uh, David Stevens, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. <clears throat> nah, on the TikTok. <laughs> it, it was, uh, I was pretty impressed. Hi, Marguerite. Thank you for being here. Um, I don't know if I want. <laughs> I already told him what it was. So uh, thank you so much, Caitlin. I appreciate that. Jonathan Chong, welcome in, buddy. All right, guys. So got there Thursday, was there all day, stayed at the Corey. There's Corey right there, guys. Corey Meets World, uh, he is just such an awesome person in this community. He fits in with the four of us so well. Him and Dale both were like this just, it, I don't know. It's just an amazing group. But Corey ha was was so helpful for me on this trip. Uh, he, he taught me some things about editing. Uh, he was just awesome. It was awesome to hang out with him. He's just a great guy. And I cannot be more appreciative for everything that he does for me and uh, my group of guys. So Rachel loves Disney. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. So, guys, got there Thursday, got to stream with Corey on Thursday from Epcot, I believe we were at Epcot on Thursday. It was awesome. Um, Friday, I honestly don't even, I went back to Epcot on Friday and did my own filming from the Food and Wine Festival. Corey got me to try all kinds of new things while I was on this trip. It, it just, it was, some of them were great. Some of them were uh, very, very, very bad. Isaac Neal, what's up, buddy? Um, there's Zip's TikTok. He said, don't judge me. <laughs> Oh, uh, buddy. Go watch. Just go watch the uh, – I guess you could have posted the link to just the this and that one, but they would have found it anyway. So, um, anyways, guys, so we hung out on Friday. On Saturday, myself, Corey, Dale, and Chris from Lake Buena Visitors all went to go to SeaWorld for the first time, my first time. Angela Minter, welcome in. 20 days and you'll be at Food and Wine. That is awesome. G. Wilson, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. So, uh, we got to go to SeaWorld, which was interesting because – my equilibrium was all messed up for most of this trip. Just the up and down, and everything. SeaWorld has rides where you you sit down and then they tilt you up like this, and you're floating down on the ground, and then they spin you over sideways and backwards and everything else. Um, it was just a really, it was an interesting day. We went from there. We got dinner at Yard uh, Yard House, I think it was, and we went and played uh, Top Golf, which I would never have done before, and I won like two of the rounds. Finished second in the third round. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then I went to uh, we went and played putt putt. It was a it was a great night, and we were on the Sky Flyer, which was amazing. And uh, then Sunday, I don't even remember what I did all these days. Sunday, we did something else. <laughs> Four days till food and wine for the Disney Nerd Herders. That's amazing. That's awesome. I got to say, guys, it's awesome. We'll go through all that here in a minute. I met you on camera. That's right, Caitlin. Caitlin was uh, on Dan's stream when uh, Disney Dan had his 100th episode when I was at SeaWorld. So uh, it was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to get into this stuff. We'll go over that stuff in a minute. I just want to show you some of the things we picked up. I did pick up – I picked up all kinds of stuff from 
like SeaWorld. I think this is a map. I saw Sesame Street. Um, they have a, a uh, coaster called the, uh, okay, there's the Manta coaster right there. You're laying on your bellies. Now, I know it's hard to believe from that picture, but you're laying on your belly and they flip you like over and over like a corkscrew. I said it before, our RTV one was considering a TikTok account. Don't do it. It is a, it's rough. Oh, that's right. Sunday, I, thank you, Karen, because Karen met, I get to meet Karen like three or four different times. We were in Magic Kingdom with Josh and Jenna. That's right. Uh, uh, on Sunday. Monday, I don't, I, I forget after that. <laughs> Tuesday, I was back with Corey, though, at Hollywood Studios. He was streaming. Guys, make sure you check out Corey Meets World. I know you all know who he is. He goes live on Thursdays. He did two pretty incredible streams uh, last week when we were when we were streaming. Uh, one from Epcot, one from Hollywood Studios. I have no idea what he's going to do this week, but uh, <laughs> this is soccer mama, it's an inside joke. Um, and uh, Jack Sandy Claus Logan, welcome in, buddy. So uh, go check out Corey. He lives live on Thursdays, and check out Resort TV One. They go live on Fridays at both of them at six o'clock. Both of them incredible content. Content. Do not miss them. Share along. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. All right, Tanya J, welcome in. Wow, you guys are awesome. So I just got a bunch of papers. That I'll show you where I stayed. This is just stuff, maps. I'm not going to worry about all that kind of stuff. I will show you uh, the first place I stayed had, if I can find it and all this. It, I stayed at, uh, so why was your return date changed and when are you moving to down? Moving hopefully soon. Return date was changed due to the uh, hurricane. Heidi Cook, welcome in, Heidi. Um, so it was, it was the return date was changed because of the hurricane again. So I get to, uh, I get to the Delta hotel, which is right off of hotel Plaza Boulevard, half a mile to a mile from, uh, Disney Springs. It's one of those. It's not irspirational. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Uh, Pam's fam. Welcome in. You, wow, you guys just keep coming. You guys are awesome. Um, it's right off. It's not a Disney property, but it's right down the street from Disney Springs. And it's one of those got an incredible rate. It was a summer rate. I booked it a while back. Uh, they were doing it for $59 a night, which that close to Disney is, is a mind blow or is, is, a, is a no brainer for me. So um, you stay at the Delta all the time. That's awesome. Um, but this is what you get when you go in. First off, here's your key card holder. It's just um, I was in room 526. I'll be doing a, uh, a room tour of that later. But uh, this was a key card holder, and this was my key card. It was Kylo Ren. I actually had two. One was Black Spire Outpost, and one was Kylo Ren. I gave the, uh, the Black Spire Outpost one to Corey so he could keep a souvenir because he likes uh, Star Wars, too. So those were the really cool. That was a great hotel, fantastic hotel. Um, but then we, we moved on from there. I've got coasters. I don't know why I have all these. The Python Bar, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, Raglan Road. I just collect coasters, so I collected a bunch of those. Those aren't very big. Okay, so we went to SeaWorld. And SeaWorld and Disney both have a massive sale for some reason, which I don't understand why. It's probably because they have so much. But for $59 a night, did the room have a toaster? It did not, Bill. It did not have a toaster. We had to, uh, we had to accommodate for that. And... Uh, but I moved, I moved three different times. I stayed in three different hotels. So uh, we'll go through all those in a minute. So SeaWorld had a big special. They were selling shirts. I think this shirt was pretty awesome. So I grabbed it. It's Florida grown. So it's got the uh, Florida grown symbol in it. Authentic Florida. I 70% off. That's exactly what it was, Corey. It was 70% off. It was insane. I don't even remember how much this was. I know how much the mug was. But uh, here's the back of it. I think we all might have got one of these. Or at least I think me, Corey, and Dale got them. I'm not sure. We went to SeaWorld. They're pretty awesome shirts. Um, the, here, this was $11.99, so they take 70% off that. But it's the it's all the 2020 merchandise because I guess they made so much of it for the entire year, and now everything's been cut down for about three or four weeks. But there is the 2020 SeaWorld ornament. I'm going to stack everything over there. I'm going to run out of space. I bought – here's the mug. The mug was originally $17. We got it for $5.46. Look how big this mug is. It's as, I mean, that's how big it is. It's not a tiny mug. I don't have a regular mug to do it. But it is It is a huge mug. 2020 SeaWorld. I know we did typically with Disney. But I'm telling you guys, these guys have three coasters, roller coasters, that are crazy. Like, they're insanely crazy. It's awesome. Uh, they have the Mako, which is the big one. 
Oh, thanks so much, James. I appreciate it. Todd B, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. So, uh, and that mug, guys, if you go to SeaWorld this year, this mug is $5.46. It is huge. I mean, I can I can put my whole fist inside the thing. That's how big it is. So, it, and the, oh yeah, the, the handle's a little whale tail too. So I know Corey got one of those too because he likes coffee. I just got it because I like collecting mugs. Do you have a season pass to SeaWorld, Sea World, Steve? Uh, I do, Heidi. And I'll be going there here. I'm going back. We'll talk about my next trip in here shortly. And um, it's pretty soon, actually. Then I got, uh, this was $38.99, 70% off. Could not pass that up. But it's, I collect Monopoly games, too. And it's SeaWorld Monopoly. So I got to, got all this stuff. And it was, I mean, it was less than 20, 30 bucks for all that stuff. So pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, that mug is awesome. P. McDevitt, dollar nine nine super chat. On the behalf of the one hundred and eight people, glad you're back. Oh, Pete, thank you so much, buddy. I'm glad to be back. Although I'm not gonna lie, I thoroughly enjoyed streaming on location last week, last Monday, which was a last minute decision, by the way. Um, oh, that's where I was Monday. It was Animal Kingdom. So because then I went to the Animal Kingdom Lodge. But uh, I'm hoping to return as a cast member one day. I miss making magic four years ago. Today was my last shift of being a college pro cast member. I'm hoping to make the Disney my home. Nice. Caitlin, very, very nice. Um, so, of course, met with Donna. Oh, that's – yeah, wow, we did so much. I keep forgetting everything we did. So I met with Donna. Uh, it was Donna's birthday this weekend. And for those of you who don't know, Donna is such an amazing person, which I think you all know. Donna had uh, – when I got there, Donna had picked up a couple of things for me. One is uh, because I like to paint and I didn't know who this was, she got me some Bob Ross buttons right there. Happy little accidents. Uh, happy, let's build some happy little trees, things like that. They're awesome. Uh, she got me this big, huge magnet that says, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. And it's a massive Bob Ross uh, magnet. Yeah, Donna is amazing. And on top of that, Donna, we, we got to take, uh, Corey and I got to take Donna and her family to uh, – a bocce grill for the first, my first time ever. Absolutely incredible. And then Donna also got me this, which I don't know if she knows it or not, but this is a monorail that is a Pez dispenser holder. And I have Pez dispenser. Now I, I'm going to have to get like, I don't know, 20 of them to hold all my Pez things. But you have, uh, yeah, Bob Ross is awesome. And I, I didn't know who he was in whatever it was, November. And now because of that and doing all this and Meg and everything, now I paint. So you take a Pez dispenser, you put it in, and now they're riding in the monorail. Pretty cool. I love this thing. I just need the whole set to hold on my Pez. So, yeah, Donna is absolutely the best through Philly crew for sure, 100%. Uh, oh, thanks so much, Tina. All right, guys, outside of that, I didn't get a whole lot of other things. Um, I did, that's a lie, I did. So, uh, I'm going to open this because it's going to be easier to see. They were selling these at the Food and Wine Festival, and for the first time this year for, what is it, uh, it was Fl uh, Flower Garden Festival, they introduced Spike the Bee, and I love Spike the Bee. He's the one from all the bee, Donald Duck commercials, with, or Donald Duck cartoons with all the bees and things, um, and this time they had, you can buy this at the, it says Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival on it. It's a spork, and it's a plastic spork with, it's never going to... Um, I don't think it'll work either. Hey, maybe, but there he is. There is Spike the Bee, and it is a sport, and it is a plastic sport. It looked pretty, I want to say chintzy, like uh, not good, but it is, it's pretty durable. It's really good. I had to have one of those. I'm not going to use it anyways. It's going to be for just collecting it. You have one of those Pez holders too. That's awesome, Donna. So, got a sport. The sport is just, it's only like, Two ninety nine or something like that too. It's not very expensive at all. But with that, as I was walking around numerous times, there was one day I walked around the World Showcase five different times. You should put a shelf around the top of your room and put the monorail holders around. That absolutely, Karen. That's an awesome idea. Um, one of the 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 outpost. It's it's like the African outpost between um, whatever it's between. I can't remember. It's like the if you're going to the left, you got. Um, Mexico, China, or yeah, Mexico, Norway, China, and then I think it's the African outpost, or refreshment outpost, whatever it is. But they have Spike the Bee sippers. This was uh, 15 uh, trend support. Oh, 
Trent Supporter, welcome in. Um, this was Spike the Bee Sipper Cup, and it had frozen Coke in it, and it's really cool. And it was like 15 bucks, and I got this full of uh, frozen Coke. So that's pretty cool. It'll sit here. I love Spike the Bee. He's awesome. It is Amy from AJC Magics and R. John's birthday day. It is both their birthdays today. Uh, so if you're both in, I know Amy was in here earlier. Happy birthday, Amy. Um, but they're both having their birthday today. If Go say happy birthday to them if they're not in here. But watch Wednesday because we, uh, we tend to sing happy birthday a few times. So, okay. Next up we have, um, so... I, I always do these things here. These are the, uh, that one got something all over it. So did that one. Oh, well. I always do these little maps at Epcot every time I go. You're getting that a few weeks. That's awesome. Do feel, it's a nice, it's really nice. It's, I, I would highly recommend it. Anyways, I always do these maps. And what they do is you go around, and this one for the Food and Wine Festival, they have one for each festival. For the Food and Wine Festival, it's called Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak. You walk around these countries. And you find Remy. There's a little hidden Remy, about eh, six to eight inches tall, probably. And he's got some kind of um, of uh, ingredient with him. And you find them in those countries, and then you put the sticker on here, and then you go turn it in, and you get a prize. So you don't really have to. Did you hear about the Splash Mountain boat that sinks? I did not. I did not. I heard a while back that one of them took on water, but uh, but uh, did not hear about that. So what I do is I always do one. I was I always buy four because there's always four different versions of the prize. So I buy one. I go do it. I film it. I still have never put one together, but I'm going to put one together now that I know what I'm doing. Come well, on, we want to hear about all the goodies you ate. We will, Leanne. Just give me a second. And uh, got this, and I did it. Here's all the stickers. You peel them off and put it on there. This year's prize, and then I always go, like I said, I always go buy four of them so I can get all four things. This year's prize were actually like, they're like ceramic cups. And they're like this. This one has the new Minnie Mouse design on it. If I can get that thing to focus. Um, cover up this in the background. It's going to focus. Focus. Anyways, you can see Minnie's on a bicycle. There's that one. There is the Farmer's Market Mickey Mouse one. And I think these were from the Food uh, Flower and Garden Festival, which I'm okay with. Because that they just couldn't do anything with them there because that event didn't happen. So there's that one. There is these are my favorites one. There's an orange bird one that has orange juice and orange bird on it. And then of course we have uh, Spike the Bee and Donald. So there are the four cups. Um, they just transferred them over to the food and wine. It's a kind of a combo deal, guys, because they did. We didn't get to celebrate the Food and Wine Festival or the Flower and Garden Festival. Rebecca Bell, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, they are from technically from the food. They, they just combined the two festivals, guys. They started Food and Wine way earlier. They they've got the new maps for the the Food and Wine, but they're they're giving out the at least for now they're giving out the uh, Food and Wine thing so they can get rid of them. Michelle Obert, welcome in, and David Kentrell, welcome in as well. Thank you guys for being here. Um, would not be a oh. Would not be a trip if I didn't get puzzles. So I did pick up this puzzle here, which is, I think it's in that shape. I think it's the shape of a Mickey head with all the different uh, icons there. It's going to be pretty nice to put together. It's just another one I didn't have. And then I bought this four pack. I couldn't remember if I had it. I thought I did. Wasn't sure. Um, how much was it to do the scavenger? Oh, I'm sorry. So these scavenger hunts, these maps, they went up a little bit. They're $7.99 this year. So basically, you're paying $7.99 for this to have fun and a cup. And uh, they are also, though, until August 14th, all pass holders get 30% off at everything, like except for food, everything. So these got marked down 30% from that as well. So uh, it's pretty awesome. And so are the puzzles. I bought this, brought it home, realized that I had bought, I have three of the four already. It must have been in a different pack. They changed this packaging and made it different. But uh, I bought these Thomas Kincaid puzzles. Um, I have the Peter Pan, Lion King, and Jungle Book one already put together, glued, and hanging on one of my walls. And I didn't have – I got a Pinocchio one, but not that Pinocchio one. So um, I'll keep that one, give the rest of them to my mom to do. She likes them too. And uh, But, yeah, I've already got them in. They're all the, the same piece put count, too, the 500-piece count. 
Um, okay, so Corey's mom had sent uh, something with Corey for me, which was just mind boggling. She's amazing. Um, you guys all know that uh, I have a tendency to dress up as things. They had better cups last year. They were like a tumbler. They were a zip, but these are actually ceramic. I actually like these. Um, they're little sip. I'm going to call them sippy cups, but, but it's just like if you don't want a lot of beverage, this isn't just a real nice. I like these. I really do like these. Um, okay. Can we just make the annual pass holders succumb to our ridiculous prices? <laughs> Surfer Girl 326, welcome in. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but anyways, Corey's mom sent something with Corey for me, which it, it was ridiculous that she did that, but it, it, she is so awesome. I dressed up as Olaf once and kid you not, I, I actually started the, uh, I'd actually started looking for them at the flower and garden festival. No, they're not plastic zip. They are definitely uh, like, they're either, I don't know, they appear to be ceramic, maybe glass, something like that, but they're not plastic. Um, but I had, I had started looking for salt and pepper shakers because I want to set for my table. And the only ones I can find so far are the food and wine or the flower and garden festival trash cans. I didn't really want that. They still have the orange bird spirit Jersey. Mm, I don't remember. I think they did. Uh, but I don't remember. So, uh, Corey's mom got me this. It is an Olaf salt and pepper shaker with the head comes off. There's the salt, there's the pepper or however you want to do it, but it's magnetic and it goes together. Now, how awesome is that? This could not have been a more perfect salt and pepper shaker. And, and again, I was looking for them, couldn't find anything I liked. And then uh, he brought this to me and it's just amazing. And on top of that, they also know I collect mugs as well. She bought me this Olaf, but look how big this thing is and deep it is. I hear something. It's not, it must be inside. So something inside somewhere <laughs> is, is rattling around. But guys, look at that mug. Big Olaf mug. Salt and pepper shaker. Corey's mom is amazing. Um, just really nice person. Nice, nice, nice person. So, and Corey too. She did a good job with that. That whole family is nice. So go check them out. But yes, I got the Olaf mug, the Olaf salt and pepper shaker, which is absolutely perfect. I did buy shirts. All the 2020 merchandise is buy one, get one free or buy one, get one 50% off. Or I don't know what it is. It, it's cheap. Whatever it is, it's cheap. Yeah, Corey's mom's awesome. So I got these two shirts. This one is just says 2020. Oops, maybe it's sticking. There we go. That one says 2020. It's got the Disney stuff on it. Pretty nice. And I love this shirt. It's uh, different colors of blue. It's almost like a tie dye, but all blue. And uh, there it is. There is the shirt. This, these were uh, originally $24.99 and they're buy one, get one free now. I remember, but I love that shirt there. So they're pretty cool. Uh, Highly recommend if you get a chance, go to Shop Disney and buy them because they're, they're on sale on Shop Disney. All right, almost done with the stuff, guys. Uh, I am going to show one thing from Zob. No, I'll save that for uh, Wednesday. Put it right there. So I got two more things. I did go buy uh, some pins while I was down there. I bought a, I, never, I lost the packaging. I'm not going to show them all, but I did buy a pack of uh, purse pins. <laughs> I don't know why on my show. You can go watch it on Wednesday. Here's one of them, though. It is a, it, this works so much better in the room. It is a jasmine pin, maybe. Come on. Come on. Nope, that's not going to work, is it? Anyways, that's a jasmine pin. And then they have these other ones that are Maleficent fantasy football pins. And I can maybe show you all these. But these are the pins you can get. There is an orange bird pin. These are like fantasy football logos. If that'll focus, you can kind of see one of them. There you go. So they're like fantasy football lo team logos and and uh, mascots. Uh, Elena K eight oh eight, welcome in. Thank you for being here. So I had a bunch of those, and I did get. I got. I bought three packs of those because I wanted the whole set. They're awesome. They did get some really cool ones. I did get uh, two of the the ones I wanted the most for this orange bird pin, which I did get, and uh, Brer Fox because that is a Splash Mountain character. So um, got those. Was really excited to get them, but I got some pins. I cannot go to Disney and not buy pins for some reason. Did you go back and get more of the fantasy football pins? I did, Leanne. I bought two more packs. I got three total. Um, I got a couple. Uh, I, I've got an extra orange bird, which Corey loves orange bird, so I gave it to him. And I got a couple extra. I'm, I'm missing three or four of them. So, and those are thirty percent off too. 
uh, from their regular pricing. So 30% off. I'm glad you picked up the fantasy football pins to reclaim your man card after the purse. So look, when I was buying them, I was going to buy them all for the fantasy football. And I thought, you know, I did it on stream. I said, let me get one pack for the ladies and one pack for the guys. And then I went back down and bought a bunch more of the, um, the uh, fantasy football ones. So, um, okay. Last thing I got, <clears throat> if you go back and watch Corey stream from Epcot on last Thursday, one of the best things that we did was in the, there's Corey's mom guys. And again, Corey's mom's amazing. Uh, the last thing that I got was, uh, what I purchased was not cheap. I'm not proud to say I spent this much on, um, on, uh, this product. If you guys missed it once again, Corey's mom, Corey's mom sent these two things to with Corey for me. This is an awesome. That mug's huge. This is almost as big as my head. That salt and pepper shaker. Really cool. Thank you so much. I cannot express how much that meant to me. I really do appreciate it. So, um, Corey and I did a, if you go into the, the festival booth that has the, it's all indoors and there's like four booths in there. There's the festival favorites, the macaroni and cheese booth, all that stuff. At the very end of it, after those four, at the way at the end, there is a, just a, it's not even look like a booth. It's just way, way, I mean, you gotta go all the way to the back. It's a maple syrup testing or a maple syrup booth. And they do maple syrup testing. Turns out they're from Adora, Indiana, which is south of me here, uh, not too far away. And I would ask, I was asked the lady all about the process and everything. They showed us how they make them. And then they uh, let us try them. And I have to be honest, this is the best syrup I have ever tasted in my entire life. Um, it is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. And what they did is they made this, it's called Burton's maple syrups. These are infused in uh, barrels. So there's no alcohol in these, but they're infused in wine, brandy, and bourbon barrels. So this was supposed to be a Disneyland product, but they didn't have it this year. So they sent them over to us, which is why there's a special one in here that you can only get here. And it's with a red wine one made of red wine, but you have bourbon, red wine, and um, brandy. So we didn't get to try the red wine one because that's not technically what we were um, allowed to have. They, they were not supposed to have in here, but they had them. And uh, these are, I, I cannot tell you how good these were. And they're not thick. They're runny syrup. It's like syrup. It's straight 100% pure syrup from the, from the tree to the uh, barrel to let the flavor infuse in. And I got to be honest, those flavors were amazing. But it's Burton's MapleWoodFarm.com. You can go get them there. It's pricey. This set here for these three was 80 bucks. So um, got to be honest, it's fantastic, though. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, there was no way I was passing up. And on top of that, the original, which is this one, it is the, uh, this tastes like pure maple candy. That's, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Pancakes at Steve's this weekend. Come on by. We are going to have some, uh, Dougie, Walter Graham's welcome in buddy. We're going to have some pancakes and waffles for sure. But, uh, so this is what they look like. This is the Burton's Maplewood Farm. It is sealed with a wax cover, um, but and you can kind of see how runny it is. But it is so good, absolutely so good. I, I can't, I cannot tell you how good it is. That's all I can say. If you're going down there, make sure. But local is the way to go. Making syrup is a common to see growing up in Wisconsin. Yeah, absolutely. And and these people here in Indiana are on the farthest south. Uh, there's they call it the syrup belt of trees. That you can go actually get pure maple syrup. So, uh oh, I hope that's messing up. It's messing up on one of my screens. So, we'll be in Indy again this weekend. When's breakfast? Are you seriously in? Are you really going to be in Indy? That would uh, that would be awesome. So, but that's uh, that's kind of the merchandise haul that I got. So, let's talk about some of the things that we did. Um, first off. Corey made me eat things I did not like, but on the flip side, he made me eat a lot of things that I absolutely love that I've never either loved in the past or I've never tried because I didn't want to. But uh, let me start by saying though, the first thing that he made me eat, and I thought this was going to be a, I dare you to drink that Burns down in one shot. Well, I would, except I'm on a diet, like a strict hardcore diet right now. So um, back on it, I'm going to try to lose a lot of weight. 
and uh, we'll keep you posted on that. But uh, that that makes syrup. They're they're incredible, absolutely incredible. And Saturday a.m. or Friday night, that is awesome. I do not eat spam, Happy Hopper. I did not like the spam from the Miami from the Hawaii booth. Um, oh, thank you, my my. I, I I don't know if it's supposed to be like my or my, but I'm gonna start calling it saying my. But thank you for uh. It, it was uh, it was great stuff. I'm just happy to go. Brian Eisenhart, welcome in, buddy. Thank you. Did you make a visit to Disney Springs? I did not. Um, oh yes, yes I did. Did I? I? Yes, I was at Disney Springs, but I was supposed to go back to Disney Springs, and my trip got cut short. That's when I was going to buy my stuff, and I never. I, I usually save all that for the last day, so I can uh, don't have to haul it around and move it and all that. But uh, your initials, MY, gotcha. T uh, Tim Pruitt, welcome in, buddy. So. Um, started out again, we went to all kinds of things on, on Thursday, Corey and I streamed from Epcot. We went to food and wine. We tried a lot of different things. Corey made me eat a deviled egg. We went to, uh, arts home cooking, art Smith's home cooking for the first time. Food, absolutely incredible. I have never, ever, uh, that the chicken was the best chicken I've ever had. It was amazing. He made me eat a deviled egg. I don't like eggs. Proficiently, I don't like eggs. Uh, he made me try a deviled egg. It took, he just cut a, I mean, it was just a little piece on the end of a fork, but he put a nice big piece of bacon on it. And, uh, oh, thanks, Wendy. Corey's, Corey's just amazing. Corey is, is fantastic at what he does. Just a, a great person. If you're going to associate yourself with people, Corey's the kind of guy you need to associate with. So um, he's just a, a true, honest person and love the kid to death. So. Disney World Freak, welcome in. No worries, buddy. Hope you're feeling well. Uh, <laughs> so I tried to eat the deviled egg. There might be some uh, Marco Polos and and uh, some uh, some videos later and down the road when I when I get the uh, Meg Mickey's Magic. Welcome in. TNT dis, the this and that guys also make him dress up like a ballerina. That's true. That is absolutely true. Now I told Corey uh, I did not have the mac and cheese. Because I was, uh, there was so much food I couldn't, I just couldn't keep eating. I went with the green beans, which were some of the best green beans I've ever had as well. Um, but I do love mac and cheese, so I, I knew that would be good too. <laughs> but uh, the deviled egg, it took, I, I'm, when I say five minutes, I'm not joking. It literally took me almost five minutes to get this thing into my mouth. And there was an instant gag reflex, and it did not go well. I kept it down. Needless to say, I still do not like deviled eggs or eggs of any kind. So, uh, Steve got the Mickey puzzle you made. Yes, I got the Mickey head puzzle. Um, but I did try some other things during during the trip. He had me try collard greens, which were absolutely amazing. Uh, Brussels sprouts were very good. We had the citrus chicken, or the ci crispy citrus chicken. Yeah, Corey does open your palate up, and and. He would, he, the, if it was me going on my own, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm just not going to eat that. Corey wouldn't let me. He, he said, you said you would try anything except seafood because I get sick from eating seafood. I tried it. Some of it I liked. Some of it I didn't. Most of it I did like. So he was, uh, he was diligent in making me try new things. So, but uh, it, over and all, the food we ate was amazing. We didn't eat a lot of it, but we, we did eat and we went around the Epcot and the you know, Food and Wine Festival. We did Art Smith's Homecoming. I got to eat at something, I think it's called Kobe. It's a hibachi grill where we took Donna for her birthday. It was absolutely incredible. Um, will you eat them here or there? Green eggs and spam for breakfast. No, I still don't like spam. Still don't like eggs. Uh, but I tried it. Well, I mean, I did. I tried them. As we mature, our palates do as well. Glad you explored. I did. Some of it, not, like the things I don't like that I said, hey, I don't like, I still don't like. I didn't like it that. Some of the things I just didn't want to try. I want to try for the first time and like them. So, um, but anyways, and we ate at uh, Polite Pig. We got some amazing brisket there. It's coffee, some kind of coffee rubbed, uh, um, coffee rubbed brisket. What else didn't you like besides the deviled eggs and spam? I can't remember. Like there was some a lot of aioli stuff, which I don't like mayonnaise. And Ryan McDowell, welcome in, brother. Thank you for being here. Um, I don't like the aiolis, which is mostly uh, – I don't like Samwise Gamgee either. That's true, Meg. Um, 
he was a whiner in that and he you know it, anyways uh I, there, I can't remember all the stuff that we did try i should have wrote a list but i didn't but uh you know look like you had a major i did ryan it was it was incredible absolutely incredible so i stayed at uh i stayed at uh the delta for a few days got tired of that decided i wanted to move over somewhere else so and i got dvc points so i didn't know why i wouldn't use them but i decided to uh stay at uh, the kadani house over or kadani village over at um animal kingdom lodge and if you don't know it this is animal kingdom lodge this is jumbo house which is not dvc I, there, I don't think any of this is dvc this is kadani house this whole horseshoe looking thing here these two horseshoes over here are kadani house this is all dvc there are parking garages under here there's like one here zazu uh timon and uh rafiki and pumba so i actually stayed right here in this little building over here and let me tell you something that walk there's no hallways that cut across your audio isn't synced with the video on my end. My my stream yards keeps like flickering. I don't know what's going on. So hopefully it fixes itself. But uh, I don't know. Anyways, I stayed way up here and it is a long walk. The main building is right here and it is a long walk to get from there to there. Longest walk I think I've ever taken. I, I bet I took it a dozen times the first day I was there. Uh, just trying to get things set up and everything. But this hotel is absolutely gorgeous. We I had to work still while I was on vacation. No, we can still get clear. Just a second or two off. Okay, hopefully it catches back up and fixes on it. Kidani is your home. I figured that was with your with your name, Sean. Um, thank you so much, buddy. It was it was absolutely amazing. I love this resort. I absolutely love this resort. We we could sit on the balcony and the, we, we had a balcony view, I had a span of view. We just watch the animals graze. And when I say animals, there were uh, Eric Lee, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Uh, there were giraffes, there were wildebeest, there were antelopes, um, a coffee, ostrich, the weird bird with the yellow feathers that looked like a mohawk. There were zebras. Uh, there was just all kinds of stuff. And they were there 24 hours a day. So now it's back on. <laughs> hey, at least it caught up. So, um, so Orlando guy, Richard, welcome in, buddy. Thank you for being here. So all in all, it, it was absolutely gorgeous. Go on the balcony. We're on the third floor. Sit on the balcony and just watch the animals. I could work with my laptop out there. Um, it, it was just incredible. I, I've never experienced anything like this whatsoever. And I highly recommend anybody that's going to do it to go get a Savannah room at the Kanani Village. Had a deluxe studio. Comes with a big bed and uh, zebra. No, it wasn't zebras with mohawks. <laughs> it was the little birds with mohawks. So. So uh, I originally had booked Saratoga Springs, but I had that good deal. I did that so that I could make reservations. And then I had the really good deal at uh, Delta and I didn't want to give that up. So I, I re pulled my points back and you didn't care for it too much, Carlos. It's a lot of walking. I thought it was gorgeous though, but, but also at the same time I had to work. So being able to work on the, um, on the balcony was incredible. The inside was decorated beautifully. I, like I said, I recorded it all. I'll put together a vlog. If you didn't, if you want to see some of it, Corey just yesterday dropped a video for a dining review for Sanaa. Incredible video. But a lot of that, Sanaa is in Kidani Village and it's right in the main building. And you can go out on the balcony and see all the animals. Go check out some of the, he's got a bunch of animal pics in, in, in the building itself in his video. Uh, mods, if you would throw out Corey's, the link to Corey's video from yesterday. It's a, a Sanaa dining review. Absolutely incredible. That is awesome, Leanne. That is awesome. You're going to love it if you haven't ever been there. It is amazing. So anyways, I uh, went from there, and then uh, we went to zombie camp. On my way back, though, we had to come back a day early, Corey and I did, because of the hurricane. <clears throat> he got to go to his house because it was supposed to be really, really close to it. I had to fly out home, but I wasn't supposed to fly out till Monday night. The hurricane came through Sunday. I We came home Saturday night. There was no more flights, so I stayed at the um, – what is it? The um, the Hyatt Regency uh, Hotel inside the airport. When you walk in the Orlando Airport, you either come into security or as you leave security, you go to that big open area with all those balconies. That's a hotel. And I might say it's an incredibly fancy hotel. Uh, outside of Disney, it's the best hotel I've ever stayed in. And um, I, I, did, I took some amazing footage from there that I'm going to try to put together again. Corey helped me through a lot of editing things that uh, – I created my own uh, 
intro, video intro and a trailer. So I'm going to have that coming out soon. And then I've got a really good video I'm going to put together with this. Really excited for it. So uh, you guys, that, that hotel is awesome. It was 130 bucks to stay for the night, which comparatively, well, it's 120 to stay anywhere near Disney anyways. Um, there was no stinking hurricane. It was a false alarm, which just, yeah, Mike, it was the second one that's pushed us out that we could have stayed, but we're not going to take any chances. It's not worth it. So, uh, but it, that hotel is amazing. I literally went, I was on the top floor, went downstairs. What is your state? What is your state like when you got back? Do they make you quarantine? No. So, uh, for, let me, I want to finish up by talking about all that too, about how, how to protect yourself and all that, because you, you can quarantine. The, there's a few states that are making you, if you leave the state, they're making Massachusetts is one of them. I think that they they put out a thing that said, if you leave, you have to quarantine for 14 days. Um, ours is basically, we, we are at a really steady number. We're not growing. So, and, and even though people call Florida the epicenter right now, this all, it's mostly all in Miami. And I could not tell you that I felt way safer in Florida than I do here. Um, where's Pete McDowell or Pete, um, McDevitt's poem. Read Pete's poem. Pete, Pete, Pete. I don't like eggs. I do like Meg. I do not like ham. I hate spam. Steve, I am. <laughs> uh, we watched Corey's vlog today. We were eating a smell this trip. It looks good. We had bread service one night. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I stop off at the bar in the Orlando airport every time I fly in and out. Richard, that is, that's a great bar. There's a lounge there. There's a bar. There's a, it's McCoy's restaurant. Absolutely incredible. Anyways, I highly recommend you stay there. I had the top view. You, they don't let you go onto the balconies anymore for your safety. Um, but I was able to look outside and see stuff and film and it's just an incredible resort. Um, I went, I got, I woke up in the morning, I had an eight o'clock flight, woke up, I don't know what time it was, went straight down to the fourth floor or the, the third floor. Cause that's where the airport's actually on. Went down to the third floor, walk it over to, uh, the ticketing booth, which is right there. Walked right back to security and I was in the air. I was on the plane. It was awesome. Sandy Norris. Welcome. Thank you for being here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that was awesome. So people were asking me while I was down there, do I feel safe? And honestly, I got, I, I got to be fully honest with you guys. I literally felt safer there than I do here. Here, yeah, we can uh, downscale the $5 chip chat. I want to do an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression when I say this hurricane's name. Oh, I'm not, yeah. Uh, it's here. Come on, drench me. Drench me now. I, 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 I still can't say it. It's like Isaiasa or something like that. So it does sound like Arnold would say that, but thank you, buddy. I really do appreciate that. Um, anyways, guys, we go down there, even SeaWorld, all of it, the whole process. The only concern I had going, because I've seen the process and how they work, the only concern I have going was the airport. I wasn't sure how they would handle it. My airport here in Indianapolis was amazing. Orlando was probably even better. I can't do the Arnold impression. I don't know how. Uh, it's here. Come, I can't do it. That's stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I tried. It's not good. Sorry, Dowskill. But it's in my head. I know what it's supposed to sound like. I'm terrible at impressions and doing voices. But anyways, the um, so I go to the airport. Airport is completely wiped down. All the stores are closed. It's very, very. There was one flight that only had 17 people on it. People just start flying, and everything is is done. When you rent a car, everything is already pre-cleaned. Everything has like stuff on it. They won't even open the doors. You can't even go into the cars to look at them anymore. You got to pick one, and then they, then you get to open the doors and stuff. I set them up to say it legit. I know I can't I can't do it downscale. I'm sorry, buddy. Your bad attempt was so close. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Um, so, anyways, the hotel was at, or the airport was absolutely clear. Everybody kept their distance. Everybody put their masks on. Everybody did everything they're supposed to do. When you get on the plane, I fly Southwest. Usually, only Southwest. Uh, Southwest keeps the middle row open and they spread people out. If there's not enough to fill the seats all the way, they make people go to the back, which to not only balance out weight, but also space people between rows to keep you more socially distanced than you already are. Uh, good to see you back home. When you're on other people's streams, you get junior prom girl shy. We love to see you. Oh, thanks so much, Ryan. I I will be honest. I didn't, Corey ha is such a professional at what he does. I I tried to back off and stay out of his way, let him do his thing. And uh, I'll, I'll be back there again with him. It, I was, it'll, it'll be a little more fun. It'll be more fun. 
but I just try, I don't want to ruin his stream. Not that I would ruin it, but I don't want to, I don't want to interfere in anything he's got going on. He's got his way of doing things. And uh, I was just honored that he let me come by. So, but anyways, guys, the, the hotels were fantastic. I mean, I'm sorry, the airports were fantastic. Absolutely clean. They did everything. Uh, <laughs> definitely downscale. You got to do it for sure. Um, Paula, I am going to Disney in October, but uh, you were perfect. Just pick. Yeah, I know. I, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was perfect, but I, there's a lot that when that camera shuts off, we, it's full let loose. It's just have fun and enjoy it. There's a, there's a proper professional product that he is putting out and you gotta, oh, thanks so much, Elaine. I really do appreciate it. Uh, he's, he's one of the greatest friends I have. He's, he's an amazing person. So he does a great job. So, uh, but anyways, in Disney, Disney does temperature checks, which you go through, they do full masks and they are around to let you know, like you can no longer, yeah, MCO airport is amazing, Ryan. It's awesome. Uh, you can no longer walk and pull your mask down and take a quick drink. They are on you fast. And they do it in a polite Disney way. Hey, you got to go stand still and sit down somewhere. And if you need a spot, hey, there's one right there. And they, I mean, they point them out for you and everything. It's, uh, they won't let you do things you're not supposed to do. So they do that. There, there is a hand sanitizing stations at every ride before you get on and when you get off. So there's hand sanitizer is everywhere. And they also either depending on the ride, they'll wipe down the ride every single ride. And there's some that uh, depending on the, like in how the situation goes, there's some that they'll stagger you in every other row and then they'll move you back the next time the boat comes around every other row so that they can keep things going for a while. And then they'll shut down like the land. They'll do that. And then they'll shut the land down for like 20 minutes to clean all the boats at the same time. So there's, it's a little inconvenient, but for Disney to be open and for us to be able to go and enjoy things and for me to make sure that it's safe for me to get on, I'll take it every time. So, but I know that I go to Walmart, I go to restaurants, I go to everywhere here. Not one time do I ever do any of these things. I don't get any of these things. Everybody's like, oh, you, why are you going to Florida? Florida was way safer than it is here. I can't, I can't stress that enough. When you go to the hotels, your, you know, the shampoo pumps and stuff in the, in the, in the, um, the, the bathtub, they're covered and it says cleaned on them. The remote control is wrapped inside a plastic bag that says cleaned. Everything has completely um, been sanitized and it's all in bags and they let you know it. So it's it's really awesome the way they did things. And I felt, again, I felt safer there than I do here. I'm, I'm being 100% honest. So how did you handle the mask? Were they difficult? For me, no. Um, I have, uh, again, Mama Mouse made me a bunch of masks before I went. These are two of my the ones I still have sitting out here. But so these are bigger masks. So they covered my face a lot better and they expand open uh, up underneath the chin and everything. But I, I don't have any problem with, yes, Karen, it's definitely safe from home. I don't have any problem with these things. They're, it's, again, they're not thick. It was hot. You're going to sweat inside them, if, but it's whether or not you can handle the heat or not. But uh, they, I didn't have any problems with them all. So, but I thought it was great. And then, of course, I got to meet a lot of people. Um, Karen, I met, I ran into three or four times. I got to meet James Ryan very briefly. I, I wish we had more time to hang out. Um, but I uh, got to meet James. He, he's an awesome guy. Um, Josh and Jenna, of course, and, and mom and dad were amazing. Um, Donna, Arjun, Sam, Nick, all the, I, you know, I, I got to meet so many people. I hung out with Walt. My Walt from Mouse Talk for um, for uh, Animal Kingdom. We rode. I mean, we rode. By the way, by the, everything is a complete walk on. I didn't wait. I waited no more than ten minutes for anything. Stacy Rogers, welcome in. Ten minutes was the the longest wait I had, and that was for uh, cleaning. That's all there was. We walked on to Flight of Passage, and as we were getting off, they go, "Do you want to ride it again?" They just took us right back in the fast pass line and rode it again, right back to back. So, I did not talk to Victor yet. But I'm not going to say that I didn't go look at some properties. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So, But all in all, guys, absolutely amazing trip. Pamela V, welcome in. If I'm being honest, my the best best trip I've ever had. After topping that off with the boys over at uh, Zombie Camp, which we'll talk about on Wednesday, um, I, it was just so good. I can't, I can't express it. Even with all the restrictions, the masks, not gonna I, look. What we're going through right now in this world is is pretty, um, pretty sad and pretty 
unprecedented, but we we do have some things to you know to take care of. But in, in order to continue to live, you know, live life and enjoy things, uh, right now at Disney, there's no waiting on anything. There's none at all, and uh, you don't you don't need fast passes. I understand why they don't have them. They've done a fantastic job of the properly limiting the number of people to go for them to be able to say, um, this is how we can keep things socially distanced. And there's, you're not in crowds anywhere at all. So, uh, any food you did like Steve, I, I, of course the food that I always eat, I love, but I did try Brussels sprouts for the first time, collard greens for the first time, uh, that crispy orange chicken. I loved all that stuff. Guys, the apple pie thing that Corey ate and I tried that. That is fantastic. I, I mean, absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend that. We tried the frozen s'mores. That was awesome. It was, it was all good. Yeah, I saw Katie. Uh, I'm going to quit watching the XFL now. Uh, my non, not favorite person bought it. So, uh, but guys, anyways, that's, that's basically, we have about four more minutes here. The trip was incredible. Absolutely incredible. And then it carried over to zombie camp, which we'll get into on Wednesday. And uh, it's fantastic. So real quick, if anybody has any last minute questions for uh, for any questions about my experience or, or what it's like down there, throw them in there real quick. Did that chicken have the BL, but what is that? <laughs> BLNE in it? I don't know what that is. Sorry. What are frozen s'mores? It's honestly, Stacy, like, Frozen chocolate milk with um, marshmallow syrup, and um, it's got some graham crackers crumbled on top with some marshmallow. It was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, with the bone, oh no, uh, the chicken did not have the bone in it. I got boneless chicken breast. So, um, oh, James Ryan, that is amazing. Thank you so much, buddy. I really do appreciate that. And I didn't even I didn't even get to hang out with James near as much as I wanted to. So no problem, Sandy. Thank you guys for listening to me go over my trip. I really do appreciate it. Guys, we're getting ready to go over to Meg over at Mickey's Magic to make sure that we uh, get ready to head over there. Meg is awesome. Make sure you check, check out Triple P who goes live before me on uh, Mondays at 7 o'clock. I go on at 8. Meg goes on at 9. And then uh, Pepper Tree Villa goes on live at 10. So make sure you check them all out. Oh, guys, I got to hang out with Epcot Bob too the first day. Epcot Bob was there. I got to hang out with him, uh, Dean's brother. So how was the pizza you had with Corey on last Tuesday night? Honestly, so I know people give Rizzo's a hard time. And let me be honest, it's not the greatest pizza in the world whatsoever. But it was pretty good pizza. I mean, we were very hungry, but it was pretty good pizza. I, I, I would get it. It was like, a, it reminded me of like a Pizza Hut personal pan pizza back in the day. But my nails grow long and I can't type. <laughs> Thanks for filming at Animal King Lodge. I miss meeting the magic. Yeah, it's an amazing, it's amazing, Caitlin. I love that. That's incredible. Thanks so much, Disney Nerd Herders. Appreciate it. Guys, have fun when you're down there. I think you said four days. That's going to be amazing. Uh, thanks so much, Ryan. I really do appreciate that. Better than gas station pizza. Absolutely, Leanne. <laughs> I do not uh, like it. And yes, Hannah, I am planning to move to Orlando um, and uh, stream from the parks too. So, We'll see how it goes, though. I like bringing that kind of content, and it was extremely fun on Monday when I got to do it. I go to bed early. Sorry. Maybe reruns in the morning. No problem, Sandy. No problem at all. But, guys, uh, we got one minute. Everybody, please post the link to Meg's as you're, as you're doing. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your trip, Steve. I'll go back and watch what I missed. No problem, Tim. Thank you for being here, buddy. I hope you're doing well. Um, great job on the Animal Kingdom last week. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. Ryan was kind enough to – Text me after that, and, and it, dude, you're you're awesome. I appreciate it. And why? Glad you had a nice trip. Thanks for sharing. I'm DBC. Surprised they didn't show you a map so you could see how far away your room was. Oh, they gave me the map. They gave me this, but and it's way over here. But it, I mean, it, for me, it's just like I mean, it's only that far away. It's a long, long, long way away from the main building. Thanks so much, Emily. I really do appreciate, it. guys. Head over to Meg's for stream, Mickey's Magic. Um, check her out. She is an awesome, awesome streamer. Really good friend of mine. Make sure you head over there. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Quick question. Is the Animal Kingdom Lodge better than the Polly? Depends on what you're into. The Polly is so nice. Animal Kingdom Lodge is animals in the Savannah view. So that's where I would say you got to do – it's close. I'd say they're close. 
but Polly's still my favorite. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you. Very honored and and uh, shocked when you guys all come here. Please head over to Meg, see her, and uh, tell her we sent you. Love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. <laughs>